Hey everyone, thanks so much for stopping by. I'm Bruce Schwartz. Oceanus Procellarum. Let's go there, the left side of the moon. We're seeing more structuring on the surface. This is just a straight up um, x ray shot, similar to inversion. It's showing us the surface. That's it. And we're, you know, we're seeing objects, whether natural or not. Look at here. Look at these laid out tracks or objects. It's, it's very odd. It, they go straight through to the back here. It's like, whoa. Either way, it's beautiful to see. And this is um, on the Oceanus Procellarum side. We're seeing structuring like pipes sticking out of the ground and going into the ground. There's a beautiful shot um, of a nice crater. And around it, it's where the craters meet on the outer limits of the moon, where you see five craters in a round circle, smaller craters. We see this bigger crater beside it. And we're seeing, look at the elevation. It would be like, I think, five to 10,000 feet high there. This is no joke, so it would be very high. So if these are um, dug out or man-made or alien-made or whatever, it's still interesting. And I tell you, we don't get a chance to see them. And we see all the bumps on the surface here. Look how many they are. there are. And they're hard to see. It depends on how... Like, this is a white surface. There's nothing to see here. We can't see anything here. It's that bad. I've tried with night vision infrared. I've tried with um, processing uh, through various different apps to build programs and to edit with light technique, etc. To clarify dark areas, I'm not trying to be better than anyone else. I'm just really trying to show the world what's out there and to give everyone an idea of just how beautiful it really all is. Here we're seeing objects. Look at here. We see this object coming out of the side of a crater. Whether it be man-made or not, it's objects that were not mentioned. It, we were actually told there was nothing there, actually. Here's around Plato Crater. There's the transient lunar phenomenon, meaning a light, a strange light. Here's a low altitude view. Beautiful. Haven't shown this one to you guys of the east of Bianchini Crater. There's that 40, 45 kilometer platform or bridge where there are structures on top. And now look at those bigger objects. You can't help but wonder what they are. It's clearly not pixelation. You can clearly see its massive structures on the surface. And here, look at the, uh, here coming down. The, guys, these are hidden installations. Whether they're hidden or not, they're hard to be seen. So maybe we have the impression that they're all hidden. But from afar, they're seen as a blur or a haze and very, very hard to see. As a maniac for space, I love space and I've always wanted to see the lunar surface in color and close up. I want to see detail. I want to see areas where we can see it and not just Hubble data, like they always tell us reconstructed data. No matter what they show us out there in space, by the way, is always reconstruction. How about this for reconstruction? We're looking at constructed objects in the depths of the craters with the smoke or haze produced, either natural or not, that goes over top of these craters, always changing, giving us glimpses of them sometimes, but most often are hidden and we get bright lights because of the telescopes or cameras that pick up the light and it just wagers everything out. We don't see the surface. In the center here, this is where I found all the constructed objects uh, my best photo yet, you recognize the dot here in the, uh, beside the crater. And yeah, these are massive, long lines, almost look like batteries lying on the ground. With light technique, I'm able to see some of the secretive areas because obviously in the depth, we see a lot of secrets, meaning symmetrical, geometrically shaped objects. And it's just fascinating to be able to see them. Here we can see a surface that looks surprisingly always usually smooth. And there, did you notice? Look at the triangle. I bet you some of you didn't even notice it. I mean, you can't say that's not triangular. It's a black area that's literally triangular. And in the depth, 
here, we can see these wonderful hidden structures, almost look like in the bottom of the water. Here's the surface, and this is what it looks like. This is what I've been working on to bring you guys a view of the surface that no one's ever seen, not public-wise anyways. I'm sure many secretive missions have seen way better than this, but at least we're getting a chance to see some of the truth. Check it out, guys. We often talk about triangles on the surface. Well, this is very triangular, actually. It's um, an object, one of many triangles that I find all the time on the surface of the moon. You'll see one a bit later on uh, in the video near the end, almost completely at the end. It's the exact same thing in another area with a big white glowing object inside of it. So here, the, of course, this is behind Plato Crater. Here's Plato Crater. This is a crater, right? Of course, a supposed crater, but when you zoom up on it, little lines appear and they're very symmetrical and 90 degree angles as they turn and form squares which we often see grid-like lines on the surface i love this area now look at this this jumbled up structures right there all around the crater i don't need to put any arrows up each of these pieces you're looking at right now as we zoom up keep watching till we get right up to the end slowly it comes to surface and we can see the surface a little bit. It's not easy to see the surface, you know, to, to uh, remediate the dam oscillation. I know it's annoying, but presenting it like this and uh, slowing it down, obviously, will give us a hand to be able to see it more properly. And, and okay, I'm, I'm going to watch this. We're going to zoom up again. Now, look at the objects. I'm going to get an arrow right here. It's those objects there as we're zooming up. Take a look at them. I want to notice if these are going to change. They're like arms or platforms overlaid and uh, pointing in different directions. And look at back to back, all the symmetrical objects side by side, some glowing, some not. Almost every one of the craters that you see with your naked eye, ooh, sexy, on the surface of the moon has a straight line leaving it. If it's ejecta, some of these supposed ejecta ramparts or whatever they may be are elevated. Ejecta cannot be elevated. Even less in 90 degree angle straight paths as they connect and veer off directions leading off to other craters very, very well aligned and symmetrically placed. We could see them here around Clavius Crater, around Tycho Crater, Longomontanus Crater, the craters at the back, small and big, you can see objects leaving them. The proof is there, and the more we get in, the more we can see them. They have the same reflectivity as the surface. They're near impossible to see, but your eye does see them. It just doesn't grasp or pick it up or notice it more than the other details that your eyes picking up all these different areas that when you take the time to really zoom in and look around them they're filled with objects that would take hundreds of years if not thousands for us to be able to label them all that's for sure and that is how much detail literally is on the surface of the moon see these dark areas here this is Copernicus crater right here in the center so yes, the dark patches under Copernicus Crater are descending levels. So it's like a basin-like area with uh, descending ridge-like ridges, literally ridges with objects on top of them in the dark areas and even in the mares where, you know, it's said to be flat. It is really not flat at all. And that's the most interesting thing. This is just what I'm trying to show you. Uh, we saw Mare Serenitatis in the past few videos. Guys, it looks like, I mean, the Rocky Mountains. Yet, it looks, in most footage, flat. Now, here's a black triangle. This is objects that there are so many triangles on the surface. It doesn't look like a shadow. And if it is, well, it's not matching any object near it that would be triangular. But it, you know, you have to wonder, how are these objects appearing? And now, this triangle, if it was the same as the last one, uh, the first one that I showed at the beginning, it, this one has an object in it. <laughs>